Hello there, welcome once again to User One Retro. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Um, make yourself at home. Uh, I hope that um, you enjoy the content that you've discovered. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Um, first off, I want to do a um, big shout out, big, big shout out to, to, to my subscribers. Um, you make the channel what it is. You really do, um, and I, I love I love doing stuff like this. And you know, it 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 humbles me. It really, really does humble me that you keep coming back, you keep watching, um, and liking and, and commenting. Um, it's 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 a fantastic feeling. It really, really is. So thank you very much for that. Um, for today's retro goodness, I'm actually going to be doing a series of videos for August. Um, because apparently it is Nintendo month. Um, we've had PlayStation month, we've had the um, anniversary of the Amiga, and also of the ZX Spectrum, um, which I missed, unfortunately. Um, and it was another YouTuber, a Retro Bear, big shout out to, to him, um, who actually said in uh, his last video, which was a pickups video, that it was uh, Nintendo month, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll get in on the act this time. I'll get in on the act um, and just play some Nintendo goodness really. Um, so I thought I would start off with one of the Super Nintendo's top games. One of its, one of its, well, one of its best third person shooters. I suppose you could call it a third person. Um, it's Axley uh, by Konami. Um, it's not up the screen. It's kind of like a, a 3D like perspective like third person perspective like you know a bit like um, Apocalypse on the PlayStation 1 from a few uh, few videos ago and um, I've always loved um, Axley always have um, and I'm going to try and get as far as I can in it for this video and I think that's all going to be my, my videos it's going to be some of them are going to be first time plays um, but they're all going to be get as far as I can in the game you know uh, so yeah so we're going to arm change so we've got shot which is B missile which is A arm change so, you know what put the brightness up and I'm going to leave the settings at default Oh yeah, I remember it now, so yeah. Arms installation is complete. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I forgot that you get different weapons as you go along. Amazing in this evening, you know. And the music is just seconds and none. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is like the big mecha spike on this uh I'll just use that weapon first of all. I don't Never failed on the uh, on the first level before. Mind you, though, I've always had it on easy. <laughs> Is the big ass laser that I really, really need. And that's another weapon lost. So basically, I've got a weedy laser. Oh. I 
I hate this bit. Oh, I actually thought I was going to come a cropper. <laughs> Seeing as I've lost my big ass laser. I think the worst thing about this is that basically when you continue, you can't continue from a set point in the level. You basically start from the very beginning, which makes it a bit frustrating, but it's still a good game that way. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I am no good at this game. Only when it's on easy. How people play these games on hard, I really, really don't know. Either that or I'm just getting old. Oh, for the love of Pete! You so of my friend.
this is going to be bloody difficult on there, isn't it? Oh, for the... You know what? Yeah. No, let's let's not and see we did. <laughs> oh, I forgot how hard that game was. I really, really did. I mean, as I say, I'm used to playing it on easy, but just just playing on the default difficulty setting of like normal, it's even get off the first level <laughs> well that's about as far as I'm gonna get on it um, so you know what I'm going to do another game another game and this this one I think is gonna be um, an exclusive and uh, Asterix, Asterix. Yes, this is uh, this is a different version to what's on the Master System. Um, it's a hell of a lot different to the one that's on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, and I remember, I remember liking this one a lot, and I actually did get quite far in it. But there was one bit I think it was like there's like a minecart level, and uh, I just couldn't get that get past that bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a go at this. I mean, I've always been a fan of um, of Asterix. Always have, and um, and I can't. So I'm not even going to bother. I think I should just give up, really. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I honestly can't get over how poor I am at these games. And yet, when I was younger, I wasn't that bad at them. Mind you, though, as I said, I did have them on easy. I 
Oh yeah, I forgot there's a secret thing down here. I don't know what that was that I picked up, but I think it was a sickle, I think. I mean, I do love this game. I really do. It's it's just on the slow side a little bit, sadly. Um, but I mean, even though the backgrounds are a little bit plain. Um, I do love this game though. I really do. There we go. This one I can actually get to the third part of the first level, you know, and I've only lost one life. Unlike, uh, unlike Axelay. Oh bugger it. <laughs> I press punch instead of jump. Oh, poo. Too busy scratching me schnoz.
There we go. Right, okay, I can't go that way. Oh, maybe I have got to go that way. Oh, I think I've got to ride on the uh, on the boar's back if it comes back. That is. There we go. There we go. Yes, of course. Yes, I remember that now. Oh, that could have been nasty. Bloody hedgehog. And that one. Whoops! Oh, fuck. Don't punch the ball. Okay. Bloody hell. <laughs> Forgot how many stages were in the first act.
Oh bugger it. I pressed jump instead of punch. Whoops. <laughs> oh no. And this is where it all goes to pot. That's what I was meant to have done. Could have been nasty for sure. I must admit the sound effect when you uh, when you smack someone is actually pretty damn funny. Forgetting all about the leaps of faith on you. Back to the woods. Now I can't remember the storyline of this, I can't remember if um, Obelix has been kidnapped or, 
or what, but I wish we could have actually played as as Obelix. Oops. That's the end of the first act now. It must be. Yeah. Yes, it does seem as though Ash, uh, Obelix has been kidnapped. I forgot you have to hit them three times. I didn't realise that block was there. the way that the music is very very Christmassy. down like that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, bugger it.
And you know what? I think I'm just going to give up after this and just, you know. Oh! <sighs> oh, that's, that's it, I think. That's it. <laughs> Oh joy! Anyway, <laughs> so that was Axley and Asterix for the Super Nintendo for this first video of Nintendo Month. Um, I might actually put this video up a couple of days early because I'm actually working uh, on the first. I'm going to be doing uh, uh, going out early and, and coming back quite late. So this will actually be going up either on Saturday the 30th or Sunday the 31st, ready for Nintendo month. So, if you've got, I mean, if, if you're going to join in, uh, please do, please do. Uh, play Mario Brothers, Fireman, um, Smash Bros, um, Smash Football, um, or even International Superstar Soccer on the Super Nintendo, and that was a Mega Drive game as well. Um, but it was on the Super Nintendo, so have a go at that. Super Mario All-Stars, maybe Super R-Type or even R-Type 3. Um, you know, if whatever, whatever you've got that's Nintendo, if you want to celebrate Nintendo Month, then by all means, if you would like to get involved, please do. Just anything that's Nintendo, you know. Um, please join in. Um, the more, the more the merrier. Let's let's celebrate Nintendo of old, you know. Um, and yeah, let's let's just celebrate everything, everything Nintendo. So, um, so that is it for this first. As now I keep saying it, Nintendo Month episode. Um. Next, on the next episode, I'm going to attempt to play R-Type on the Game Boy. Um, and if it's anything like my games playing on uh, <laughs> on Asterix and Axley, um, then it's going to make for some pretty grim playing and watching as well. Um, Thank you to everyone, as I say, who's subscribed, who's liked, who's commented, and, you know, please continue to do so because it all helps with the YouTube algorithms and the higher, and the higher up it gets, then the more views it will get and the, the, the more popular, well, not more popular, but, you know, the, the better chance it has of, of, of being seen by even more people. Um, it all helps. It really does, um, and I thank you. I really do. I thank you very much. Um, but yes, so as I say, that is it for this first episode of In Hundred Month. <laughs> as I say, next next time I'm going to be able to go our type, so it's going to be fun. Um, so until then, it will probably be Tuesday or Wednesday that I will do this video. So. I'm going to try and do at least a couple of week um, to celebrate. I'm even, as I say, I'm even going to try and do a top five um, of my favourite, I don't know, SNES games, SNES games, Game Boy games, GameCube games, whatever. Um, so keep a lookout for that as well. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Um, stay safe out there. Be kind to one another because that's what's world needs right now. And um, thank you, thank you for watching. So until next time, uh, take care and goodbye for now.